Well, we know it's not the same as multiple sclerosis or neuromyelitis optica in that it's really a, its own, it's an emerging as its own disease entity. And the, um, the pathognomonic feature is immunity to MOG, the myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein, which is expressed exclusively in the central nervous system. So harboring an antibody to MOG is one of the diagnostic criteria that we're proposing for this disease. And that really sets it apart for MS, where they don't have antibodies to MOG, or neuromyelitis optica, where the antibody and the immunity is to aquaporin-4. So we're, we're really understanding the spectrum of this disease based on this antibody. We're learning a lot more about all the different phenotypes of the disease and the epidemiology and what treatments might be useful and what might not be useful. And um, new clinical trials are launching now in that space. So I think there's a, it, it's sort of like uh, following the neuromyelitis optica pathway in that there's a new antibody, it defines a disease, we learn about the disease, and then we develop drugs to treat the disease, sort of following along that same path.